President Donald Trump visited my district and stopped at the Chick-fil-A on Martin Luther King Jr. Drive. This is a community near and dear to me because I was born and raised less than a mile away. We were so excited to get a Chick-fil-A in the community. This is a blighted and impoverished area that is fighting to get the Walmart back up and running after its doors closed. President Biden, we don't have a vast selection of eateries that you may be accustomed to. The Chick-fil-A, by the way, is Black-owned, Black-managed, and black staff because that is the community in which it sits. How many black owned eateries have you been to that are also black managed and black staff in what I will lovingly call the hood? I'm guessing once you hear this message, your team will be sure to coordinate a staged event at a black owned restaurant in one of Atlanta's hoods. We are zone one. There will be one star difference though. Donald Trump wasn't seeking a Black-owned business to say he did that. It just happened to be. Donald Trump made a stop in a community that is overlooked. That's it, period. Have you been to the West Side lately or ever? Have you done a drop-in to a local business in the middle of the hood ever? I believe I usually see you on a beach or at an ice cream parlor, President Biden, we don't have ice cream parlors in the hood. Donald Trump stopped where there was something. It was a Chick-fil-A. They weren't closed and the construction workers dining at the time also took pictures with the former president and were genuinely excited to see a president of the United States. This is not an ordinary thing. Whether they vote for Trump or not is not the issue. The real issue is how you continue to insult Black people for not being monolithic. We aren't. Some are trans, some are not. Some are educated, some are not. Some are wealthy and some are poor. Likewise, many are conservative and few are liberals. That, Mr. President, is why you will not win this election. Some Republicans may have poor messaging, poor flair, poor tact, and poor cooth in diverse interactions, but I don't see them herding Black folk like cattle back into enslavement by stifling their voices, opinions, families, and pocketbooks. Speaking for myself, I switch parties because I know how to read and I understand all the words on the paper and how it impacts those in desperate situations. To add more salt to the wound, President Biden, your racist chicken remarks have a Spelman student being bullied and threatened. She is in the middle of finals and is having an extremely hard time coping with people calling her a coon because she was at Chick-fil-A and took a picture with Donald Trump. She is an innocent young black woman bystander that is enrolled in college and you publicly belittled her saying she was trafficking chicken. Shame on you.